A real corker. Real corker. Okay, um, and this is interview number eight, ITN Showbiz. So, Will, good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Now, you are generally considered to be a funny guy. Right. Do you enjoy doing the odd curveball film that flips people's expectations in a way? Absolutely. I think, you know, anyone who is creative in any way, you know, loves to kind of mix it up every now and then just to, just for the heck of it. You know, I, I, I mean, I've never, I've never been uh, um, obsessed with, like, having to be taken seriously or, and yet at the same time, it's always been appealing to me to, to try to do uh, drama if it's, if the opportunity arises. And, and this one, this one came about. Uh, and I loved the the premise and the script, and uh, so yeah, it's re it's really kind of obviously it, uh, uh, the irony is it's it's somewhat freeing actually to do something like this in a way. In life, do you find people kind of have a certain expectation of you that people expect you to be kind of hilarious all the time? Yeah, I mean it's you know it's it's kind of you know when you're known for doing uh, one thing, it, 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 people kind of come up to you with this expectation and. You know, you often hear uh, people say, you're so normal. <laughs> and I, I always say, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just a normal guy. Too bad. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's, uh, but I never put pressure on myself to, to try to be super funny if I don't feel like being funny. And <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's always interesting to see people's reactions. Yeah. Being normal is a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Um, now, your marriage in this is fairly disastrous. Um, right. What, in your opinion, is the secret to a successful marriage? Um, always, always listen to your wife, no matter what, even if she's crazy. No. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think, uh, I mean, I feel very lucky. I've been married uh, 10 years uh, now, 11 years. 11? Just like that, and uh, um, you know, I, uh, my wife and I are, are kind of uh, two people who, you know, share the same interests, and it, we I don't know we we never really have uh, big issues that we have to deal with. Uh, so I think probably finding someone that you you know that you're going to be on the same page with from the beginning is is probably the is probably the secret. I'm getting married, so I'll take. That are you advice. okay? I'll take that advice. Yes. Or do you feel like? You guys are on the same page with, for the most part. Most part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ninety percent. Ninety percent is good. Yeah. I'll I take would it. take sixty-two percent even. Really. But ninety. Oh, Piece of cake. Piece winner. of cake. Yeah. Now, as well as having Biggie Smalls' son in this film, uh, you've also recently been sampled on a Kanye West and Jay Z track. Right. You're like the coolest man at the moment. <laughs> um, do you very... feel more cool now, more street? Uh, a little more street. Yeah. I just. Um, uh, I've bought a lot of chunky jewelry recently. Um, uh, a lot of diamond encrusted crosses, things like that. Yeah, uh, I'm feeling the most street I've ever felt, and uh, I think it's reflected in the way I handle myself. Do you hang out with Kanye and Jay Z? Is that uh, not enough? I, <laughs> I, uh, we need to start hanging out. You know, um, yeah, they, they, they asked if, if they could sample, you know, uh, it's two little excerpts from Blade of, Blades of Glory that are in the, their song. And uh, so I was extremely flattered. But uh, yeah, we need to start drinking Cristal together. Um, it's good, though. It works. Can, yeah. you, can you rap? Have you done rap before? I, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I don't fancy myself so much a rapper. Um, the only... The, you know, the one time I've rapped is in Step Brothers, uh, Boats and Hoes, John C. Ryle and I, um, which apparently has a following in the hip-hop community. So, um, Zoolander 2, what can you tell me? I can't tell you a thing uh, because I don't really know <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's happening. Yeah, there were, uh, I'd been contacted by Ben Stiller talking about doing a sequel and this and the other and there was a script and then and then it all went away so I don't know if it's just on hold for the time being or but um, we could call Ben right now if you wanted to let's yeah do <laughs> um, and who is a better uh, we asked Orlando Bloom this because he's in town as well yeah who is a better elf 
Uh, Orlando Bloom as Legolas. Right. Or your elf in Elf. Ooh. Uh, well, that's a really good question. Two different types of elves. You know, one... I mean, I, I, I would say if it came down to a fight, Legolas, he'd be... He'd, he'd, he'd have his way. But in terms of, like, just Christmas cheer and, and all time, just good fun, Buddy the Elf would probably... So, so it's apples and oranges. Legolas yeah. has no Christmas cheer. I'm sure he does, but I don't think, you know, when he's, he's being chased by orcs all the time, so he can't really, you know, show that off. Can't be merry. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. All right. Great. Great.